Good morning. Uh, good day to you. How are you? Wonderful. How are you? Uh, a little muggy. Boy, Dave's right. That humidity. Oh, yeah. my goodness. And we, we're, here, we're here at the lovely Birchwood in downtown St. Petersburg. I, I love This is a great place for a staycation, great place for a little weekend getaway. And I thought... It was my stupid idea. I go, oh, let's do the first one outside where you can see the beautiful <laughs> uh, hotel lit up at night. And now I'm standing here and I'm like, In the beads oh, of sweat dripping off you. and sweaty. And I'm, I'm like, whose stupid idea was it to be outside for this first one? <laughs> Jason Bird, it's your fault. It's always oh, his fault. That was my idea. That was my, my wonderful idea. Uh, I had a lovely night last night. Yeah, it was my wife's birthday. So uh, let me tell you about the most That's romantic right. night anybody could ever come up with. Took her out for a nice uh, sushi dinner. Ooh. Then, you know how you cap off a beautiful, romantic birthday evening? <laughs> That's right. The <laughs> Republican candidate debate <laughs> on CNBC. Not That's even the World wife. Series? <laughs> That's, a, that's a lucky woman right there. No, no, honey. Let's see what Donald Trump has to say. Yeah. Yep. That was my night. That's that, And that is exactly my night. Yeah. Uh, there, it is. there it is. There it is. There it is. I had to watch. It's, it's much like a car wreck. I had to like, just, I wanted to keep on going. I knew I should keep on going. I knew I should keep my eyes on the road and right. keep on going. I got to slow down and take a look. Those look, long-looker look delays will get you. Look at all those people. Uh, anyway, <laughs> but I digress. Uh, yes, going to tell you all about the Birchwood this morning. They got a big Halloween party. The, the greatest thing that people love about the Birchwood is the canopy. That's the rooftop bar, outdoor rooftop bar. Of course, it's outdoor. It's on the rooftop. I guess it's <laughs> self-explanatory. It's on the roof, but inside, no, it's out. It's outside rooftop bar. Uh, they got a Halloween party uh, here planned for Saturday night, which is Halloween. There's also rumors about a ghost that may uh, stay up on the bar. So I got a ghost story for you. Going to tell you, remind you how great the, the Birchwood is. It's a little weekend getaway or staycation anytime you can get away. They got a good restaurant in there. We'll show off one of the rooms. We'll tell you about the great food. And we'll end up on the roof. Outside. And maybe it'll be a little less humid. Be up, I'm back starting outside. I'm going to end outside. I'm just now thinking, that, whose dumb idea was that? And once again, it was mine. Well... You have no one to blame but yourself, I guess. <laughs> um, for most things in my life, I have no one to blame but myself. You're right. All right. Have a good day. You too. Thank you. <laughs> Laura. To Charlie Belcher, we go right now. Good morning. I, know. I, was just, I almost got caught checking out breakfast. I think. Sorry. Sorry. I was, well, go ahead. I check it. Check I was it checking out breakfast. Oh, that's nice. It does look good. That's nice. pretty good, doesn't it? Yeah. Toast and bacon. I was, there you go, I was Vanessa. I was standing over here to show you the uh, oh, sure you were. photo oh, sure of where I am. And then I came over here and I, I smelled the distinct smell of bacon. And now, mm, look at that. That uh, mm. oh, is open it up. I might as well. Uh, You're there. I mean, it's research, really, well. if you think about it. Well, I guess I'm getting two pieces. Oh, look, Jason, you get a piece of bacon. You take the bottom one out. Make a wish. <laughs> okay. Uh, <laughs> would you like to know where I am, by the way? Sure. I'm at the Birchwood Inn. I'm at the Birchwood Inn. We're inside this building. Of course, this was the building in the, in the like, 1920s. In 2015, it's a lovely inn. A great place uh, to come for a staycation any time of the year. They got a great Halloween party going on on the roof at the Canopy Park. Ah, oh, such a great view. One of the best views in downtown St. Petersburg. And right in the middle of everything happening in downtown St. Pete. Stick around. Been open for about two and a half years. We'll check in with the owner and see how it's going. And uh, we'll make it a good day. How can it not be a good day? We have bacon. Good day, Tampa Bay. I'm Charlie Belcher coming to you from downtown St. Petersburg, right on Beach Drive, beautiful Birchwood Inn. Thank you. We're on Beach Welcome. Drive, right? We are on Beach Drive, okay. right in the heart of it. What does it say? That, are we on that? Or the, what, there's, there's one road in between us and what used to be the pier, but we're right, right in front of uh, North Straub Park. We are in front of North Straub Park in the heart but by the Vinoy. Yeah. Block away. Uh, Chuck, by the way, uh, owns a place, the Birchwood Inn, two and a half years. Now, you w previously were not in the inn business. No. This was your f first foray into owning a hotel. Exactly. Has yeah. it been um, a lot more work than you thought it would be, uh, as rewarding as you thought it would and hoped it would be? It's not boring, Charlie. I can tell you. <laughs> <laughs> that the hotel restaurant business is now boring but uh been thrilled to be in it it's it's been a great experience you are right here where, where everything is really happening now i mean this is the epicenter of of a of fun in in downtown st petersburg the the, the metamorphosis of downtown st petersburg with its arts districts its food 
culture, it's bar scene, it's it's just a fun place to, yeah. to hang out. Uh, it's it's a beautiful place. The building has been around since when? 1924, uh, a year before the Benoit, actually. Is that right? Yeah. Wow. Uh, and it's uh, been a, a few different things, but it hasn't lost its charm. While you guys came in and, and renovated it, made it uh, turned into a beautiful inn, but it still maintained its charm. Thank you. We worked hard at that. We saved and preserved the skin, um, researched, put the, back in the original windows, um, style of the original windows from 1924. Um, so we tried to bring it back um, to that and not make another modern building. I would assume any building this old and it has to come with its own ghost stories. And since Halloween is Saturday night, and you're having a Halloween party up at, on the Canopy Rooftop Bar, which we're going to get up to a little later this morning, there, you got to have some ghost stories. You, 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 it's some bumps of the night going on? We have. We Actually, opening day. Um, we have a ghost we call her Charlotte and it was opening day in the five o'clock in the afternoon we have a grand ballroom on the fourth floor and right at five o'clock it came crashing down and the electrician had said I've been doing this 35 years I've never seen a fixture fall had been hanging for two and a half months before we opened it. A chandelier? The chandelier? The main chandelier and the main volume just came crashing in a million pieces. And dun, we had dun, 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 Sorry, you family up. <laughs> Patrick Wilson would be proud where he is. All right, thank you, Chuck. Stick around, everybody. More ghost stories for you. Tell you about the Halloween party on the roof. And the food they serve up here is pretty doggone good, too. We'll take a look at it. Stick around. Let's all have a good day. And we ain't afraid of no ghosts. Charlie Belcher's checking out the Birchwood this morning on an urban legend that the rooftop bar is haunted. Good day, Tampa Bay. I'm Charlie Belcher coming to you from downtown St. Petersburg inside the Birchwood Inn. Now, the restaurant technically, Birch and Vine, right? Birch and Vine? That is correct. Yes. Uh, and the canopy is the name of the rooftop bar. So you can come here and go to three places at once. Birchwood Inn, Birch and Vine, and then hit the canopy. Uh, Jason is the executive chef for Birch and Vine. And you stay in the inn, and you can get any of this food anywhere in the building. Anything you want off any menu. Well, that's nice. But you don't have to be staying here to come and enjoy this. Uh, let's talk about some of these items, Jason. Let's, what's that right there? Here we have our new day boat set on our dinner menu in Birch and Vine. Uh, oh. This happens to be tile, golden tile fish, locally sourced, um, green beans, a little spinach and mushroom polenta cake, and we have a sun-dried tomato and marinated goat cheese feta sauce. What, what kind of fish? A golden tile fish. What is that? I never heard of that. It's fantastic. Well, it's it's uh, similar to grouper, but a little wow. bit flakier. Okay. Um, it's it's <laughs> delicious, delicious Like fish. me, if I were a grouper, a little flaky. <laughs> uh, and what do we got here? This is off our bar menu. Uh, we have our uh, crispy salmon cakes with a citrus remoulade, uh, winter savory pesto, and a miso lime paste nice. underneath. So you get that up at the canopy? Uh, no, we get this. This is a Birch and Vines bar. Oh, oh, the bar here. Oh, yeah. So yeah there's so many cool places to visit under just, one roof. I'm all... We just started this menu at, at the bar at Birch and Vines, so we kind of wanted to showcase a couple oh, nice. things on that today. Yeah, very nice. All right. What's that? This is another fun item from our bar menu. This is our pork belly corn dogs. Uh, we got a little chili in the paste there. It's not too hot, but it uh, gives, gives it a little extra kick to it. Oh, that's fun. And then we have our house-made um, mustard, which is an apple mustard, our house-made pickles, and our house-made ketchup. Fantastic. And then here's the Halloween. If, the, if you think that looks like a bloody mess, well, it's supposed to. That's your Halloween special. That's our special for Saturday, yeah, for Halloween. We got our uh, house-made raviolis that are made with squid ink and fresh ricotta and mascarpone. Uh, on the bottom, we have Seminole pumpkin puree, and we have a goat cheese fondant around, and then we got the, the tentacles of the calamari and fried them up to have them kind of all coming out. And then we also took some beets and mixed it with some molasses and kind of splattered it on the plate it. <laughs> for a little great. blood splatter. Is it really 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 with squid ink? Yeah. Really? Yep. Oh, wow. It's very tasty. That's really cool. So there are, in essence, now you can, can you get food at the canopy or not? Absolutely. Yeah, so... In essence, there's three places to eat at the Birchwood. You can eat at the bar, at the Birch and Vine. Mm -hmm. You can eat in here at the restaurant proper, Birch and Vine. Or you can get a little snack up at the canopy. Correct. Look at that. <laughs> or you stay in a room and you just call out and say, hey, Jason, bring me something. Yeah, there you go. Nice. <laughs> All right, fantastic. Thank you, Jason, very much. Thank this looks you. fantastic. Come uh, enjoy the bloody mess. If, what do you actually, what's the, what's the official name of that dish? Um, what are you calling that? I don't think we came up with one. Uh, call, I call it a bloody <laughs> mess. But that, that doesn't sound very appetizing. You might not want to call it that. Russell and Laura, that's, this is why I don't make menus. That, that's why I don't make menus. When we come back, I'm going to take you inside a room, show okay. you a room here at the Birchwood Inn. All right. Love it. See you later. like All that right. urban legend. Let's get over to Charlie right now. Hey. That's awesome. Landon is Mr. Strong. And yeah, that, yeah. I uh, can't wait to see uh, how that turns out. Good stuff there, Russell. Want to see something really cool, Russell? Look at this. The original pier 
That's the original pier right there. This photo taken from 1946. I love, I love the two gals here playing with the beach ball. Oh, just want to step back in time. Well, you can if you check into the Birchwood Inn. And when we come back, we're going to take you down the hallways and even take you inside a room. Dave Osterberg, what's the weather like outside? Oh, it's beautiful. Good day, Tampa Bay. I'm Charlie Belcher coming to you from downtown St. Petersburg. We're visiting the Birchwood Inn. Big Halloween party happening up on the roof, uh, the Canopy Bar uh, Halloween night, this Saturday night. We're going to tell you more about that as we head up to the roof in the next segment. But now I wanted to give you a look inside one of the rooms here at the Birchwood Inn. And I'll, <laughs> I'll give you a little backstory. When we arrived this morning, Chuck, who owns the place, I said, hey, let's get into one of the rooms. And he went, Oh no, we're sold out. There's somebody in every room. Fortunately, the people in this room checked out early and we got the room cleaned up and here we are. Best maids in town. <laughs> they were able to get this room cleaned in oh, thank, 30 Thank minutes. you people for checking out nice and early. I really didn't need a late checkout. Now, how many rooms are uh, make up the inn? We only have 18 rooms, so 18 it's very rooms. boutique level, very um, intimate. And do they all pretty much look like this, right? It's the same appointments, so whether yeah. it's the same, um, it's all Stearns and Foster bedding um, with custom um, everything in here, and it's all the, they're all the same. It's absolutely gorgeous, and I've got, I got to show off the bathroom because uh, you've got one of those pedestal tubs uh, in every single room, right? It is. It's a four. It's a. Uh, uh, it's just an old tub. When we first bought the place, it was a tub very similar to that, not nearly as fancy, and that was one of the requests we asked the design team, please put another tub in like that uh, that was put in 1924. I just, I just love the way you, you've captured what I think it, it may have looked like in its heyday, although it's very modern and very comfortable. That was the thing that uh, we talked about over and over again, juxtaposition to bring in the old feel with a modern twist, so that uh, hopefully is what we accomplished. So 18 rooms, I would assume, uh, if you want a reservation, you, you, you might have to pick and choose sometimes. It might be a little difficult to get here uh, Valentine's or New Year's Eve, but we uh, give a call. I mean, there's always rooms available. Uh, just have to call early sometimes. All right, now we've been, uh, Halloween is our, is our theme that we've been weaving in through here, and you, you told me a ghost story downstairs. Now, we don't want to scare anybody away from any of your rooms, uh, but, but any, uh, any ghost stories up here that we should know about? The knocking at the door at the end of the hallway three separate times, and they kept opening the door wondering my um, computer man in the middle of the night, and uh, we never did figure that out, so we can only attribute it to Charlotte. Charlotte. Charlotte is the he's a friendly ghost. She's very here. she's a little bit uh, mischievous but very friendly. <laughs> I love it. Uh, all right, when we come back, we're going to uh, go up to the roof and that's it, would you arguably the most popular thing in, that people are maybe most familiar with is, is the canopy. The canopy rooftop bar. It's a it's a one-stop party shop, Charlie. So we'll take a look at that in a little bit. Fantastic. All right. Stick around everybody. Plenty more good day Tampa Bay coming your way and wait do you see the view from the roof. Ghosts are real at the Birchwood. The story behind why they believe someone is haunting the rooftop. Coming up next. Well, you can come for the happy hour, but you're definitely going to enjoy the view while you're here. Good day, Tampa Bay. Oh, speaking of view, there's the pier and what's left of it. That's kind of sad, actually. Good day. I'm Charlie Belcher. We are uh, at the Canopy, the rooftop bar uh, at the Birchwood Inn, downtown St. Petersburg. Chuck owns the place. you got a big Halloween party happening right here on this Canopy Saturday night. Great party. We've got a DJ. We've got drink specials. It's going to be a heck of a party. Now, we've been talking about Charlotte, the friendly ghost that haunts the building here. Uh, is she haunting the rooftop as well? She got you this morning. You're on a she mic. Did. Yeah, uh, I do have to. Yeah, I, I have to explain. Every one of our wireless mics would not work up here. We've been using them all morning, but for some reason, we, so we had to put the hard wire cable on the microphone to get this to work. So I'm not much for ghost stories, but I may be a Charlotte believer now. Now you understand. She's a funny ghost. But uh, yeah, it's a great party up here. Wednesday night is ladies' night. We gave away last week uh, some Louboutin shoes. Uh, last night we gave away uh, uh, Kate Spade or Tori Birch purse, excuse me. Next week is uh, Jimmy Choo shoes. So yeah, ladies' night, they get great prizes. It's fun. Very nice. Very nice. Uh, and now, remind me, why Charlotte? Why is her name Charlotte and who is this ghost? Um, the property is connected with the old mansion by the bay, and it was the original owner of that house back in 1915, and the owner um, committed her to an insane asylum, and that's where she ended her life, and a little bit of a funny lady. 
Yeah, well, <laughs> none the funny in a good way. Uh, all right, uh, Halloween party is Saturday night. What time it's kicking off? You, uh, costumes, all that kind of stuff? Costume, prizes, um, starts at 7 o'clock. Um, that and New Year's Eve is coming up. That's another oh. big, big party up here. So if Fantastic. you want to. So. All right, there you go. Man, well, now all we need is that weather to cooperate, Laura, to, to make it actually pleasant right. up here. Uh, but uh, you, oh, the, to, it if is. You look at where we live. Magnificent. Just look at where we live. I love that, that sun, sunrise picture that you, you put on Twitter, too. It was gorgeous. Gorgeous. Oh, Facebook, yeah. wherever that was. And, and Charlotte got us. No wireless mics for us up here. Yeah. Do -do 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 -do. I know. I know. I love urban legends. I do. <laughs> I do, especially there. All right, Charlie, thank you. Have a good day.